Good evening, everyone. With nearly 42,000 followers on Twitter, Governor Doug Ducey is seeking re-election through an aggressive campaign on social media. His tweets often get hundreds of likes or retweets, but are they from real people? Our top story tonight on 12 News at 6, how much work are fake Twitter bots doing for the governor on social media? Team 12's Joe Dana is digging into this to verify it for us tonight. Joe? Twitter is full of fake profiles, but in recent days, a flurry of fake Twitter accounts began following influencers and journalists in the Valley, all promoting the Ducey for Governor campaign. A Ducey spokesperson says they have nothing to do with it. If you believe his Twitter profile, Quentin Jost is a conservative millennial, sushi chef, and motorcycle enthusiast, and a big fan of Governor Doug Ducey. But if you talk to the guy whose photo this actually belongs to... <laughs> um, I, do, I do ride bicycles. He's also never heard of Doug Ducey. His real name is Benedict Delot from London. We notified him today about the false account created in his name. I mean, maybe it is plausible to have a sushi-loving motorcyclist who supports this governor. Um, but yeah, it's not me. We've been warned about Twitter bots before. This latest group, a reminder to be aware as we enter campaign season. A simple reverse image search of the photos on these Twitter bots can reveal who the real people are behind the photos. Take a look. Take Sarah Jean. It says she's a U of A grad, a mother. She loves travel, politics, and photography. She's also a big fan of the governor. All right, so if we do a reverse photo search, it takes us to this biography of Sarah Jean Fry, an actress who lives in Los Angeles. It looks like the real Sarah Jean graduated from SMU. All right, next. Here's another one, Nicole Wright, a teacher and mom of Arizona. In reality, it looks like she's more likely an Irish musician, best known for her work with the accordion and her fiddling. Okay, so this account, Ronald Richard, just we tweeted the governor's message this morning. He calls himself a lover of all things Pittsburgh and politics. His is really interesting because his real name is Scott Thuman. He's a chief political correspondent covering the White House, Capitol Hill. In fact, Thuman tells us this afternoon, it's always alarming when someone fraudulently uses your name or image, especially since I've worked hard to maintain a fair, down the middle reputation while covering politics. And for the record, he's not a Steelers fan. Now, there's no reason to believe the bulk of Governor Doug Ducey's many followers aren't legitimate. Regarding this recent rash of Twitter bots supporting Ducey, his campaign spokesperson tells 12 News simply, we saw it too, not us. Although Benedict can laugh at the idea of his image being misused, he does plan on contacting Twitter. Hopefully they just take it down straight away. I don't know how much time it takes. Yeah, so we will uh, continue to keep track of Benedict to find out how long it does take. If you want to find out if Twitter accounts are ripped off using someone else's photo, simply use the search phrase reverse image search and then upload the photo. Back to you guys. All right.